Let's look at the home that you could have bought for $938 from the 1916 Sears catalog. Yeah, one century ago, Sears was sort of like an Ikea outlet in this assemble it yourself kind of way. Yeah, Sears shipped a complete house to you by railroad car and reportedly friends and family would come from all around to help you build your home. Seriously? Yeah. As you and I are about to look at one of these, most of these Sears kit homes were built in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Ohio, although you can still find them standing, yeah, being lived in today as far away as Florida and California and Alaska. So what you're seeing here is not a bad looking home at all. And hey, before I tell you more about how these came to be and how to put this in perspective today, Take a look at that. Four bedrooms are upstairs and one bathroom is downstairs. Looks to me like a constant line for the bathroom there. And look, one of the kids gets their own balcony. Hey, also two parents have to share the exact same tiny closet as each kid does. So for one thing, layouts like this, it tells you how much society has changed. People almost want a bathroom per bedroom today. I think more people are just concerned about their appearance, even though at the same time they're dressing down in a way compared to a century ago. You know, maybe they're spending more time plucking their eyebrows or something. You know, people want more bathrooms. And some people have closets today that are nearly the size of yesteryear's entire bedrooms. Hey, again, more clothing outfits and more attention is paid to style and appearance today. Look at the large reception hall at the front, at the entrance there, and the formal dining room there. That demonstrates that people used to meet up in real life more often, and a century ago, visitors often, like they didn't even tell you when they were coming over to visit either. <laughs> Telephones were just getting to be a new thing, so another family would just show up at your house unannounced and you'd greet them and let them in. And you might even ask them to stay for dinner, even though you didn't even know they were coming over. Yeah, that's just how society worked back then. 20 years ago, your doorbell rang. That was a happy moment in your house. <laughs> it's called company. <laughs> Yes, right here in America, just last century. Well, hundreds of different models of these Sears Modern Homes, that's what they were called, that's what they were known as, Sears Modern Homes, they were sold between 1908 and 1942, and enthusiasts estimate that about 70% of them are still standing today. Oh, and hey, if you want to put a like on the video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Along with lumber and other materials that you needed, Sears provided you with building plans and specifications, and your shipment included pre-built parts like staircases and dining nooks, all the way down to screws and nails and paint plumbing and electrical fixtures and heating systems, they could all be ordered at an additional cost. And some of those systems were deemed pretty cutting edge at the time. There were other manufacturers of these kit homes. Sears wasn't the only one, but they were probably the best known. But I mean, look, can you believe the resourcefulness of yesterday's Americans? Like extreme do-it-yourselfers is how they'd be viewed today. I mean, sheesh, today's average homeowner is stressed and challenged about changing the air conditioning filter. Some of my rental tenants don't change theirs. <laughs> now, setting aside land costs and labor costs and hedonic adjustments, it's difficult to get past the inflation on the $938 sale price from a century ago. Today's median home price at $467,700, it costs a jaw-dropping 500 times more. Not percent more, yes, 500 times more for today's home. So then that's 50,000% more. All right, and if you did add in the land costs and the labor costs and the hedonic adjustments, well then maybe today's home would cost, uh, say, 30,000% more. And hedonic, that word comes from hedonism. That means pleasure seeking. So today's homes have amenities like 
quartz countertops, for example, that would have been an almost untouchable luxury a hundred years ago. You need to adjust home prices for things like that. Now, fast forward to today, and with even more future price inflation on the way, as your dollar keeps getting debased and debased, you know, when you're doom scrolling Zillow one century into the future in the years 2123, 2124, real estate prices are going to look like a cat ran onto a realtor's keyboard and sat on the zero key. Yeah, today's almost half a million bucks for the average home. That is going to look cheap. Now, most do-it-yourselfers never turn their resourcefulness into financial freedom because they don't know that there are ways to get your hands on the blueprints and build your own wealth. That's what we do here at GRE. So we're kind of like the Sears catalog for wealth builders. Well, do you, by chance, live in a Sears home yourself today? You might be watching this from a Sears home or have friends and family with one. Go ahead and comment and let me know. Besides this channel, I also have an audio-only show that is different from this content. You can listen to the Get Rich Education podcast every single week on the go for all things real estate investing, the real estate economy, and building your wealth mindset, or just easily listen by grabbing the Get Rich Education mobile app for iOS and Android. Let's continue the chat over there. I'm Keith Weinhold. I'll see you in the next video.